What is wrong with my power? Why I can't heal anymore? Who's doing this to me? Father, father, I've heard a terrible news from the people of our tribe. Terrible news? What kind of news, Ahano? There are some strangers that came to our land. They are preaching about a man, Jesus. Most of our people are following them and healing their sicknesses and diseases, in the name of their Lord Jesus. They're asking for trouble. I will destroy them in the name of our God, the Great Spirit. Let's call on the Great Spirit to destroy them. Oh, Father God. Thank you for bringing us here in this island. Use us to show the people here that you are the true one God. Not the idols that they were worshipping. Please, enlighten them. Let the name of Jesus be glorified in this place. Show them your healing power and your love through me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Preacher Hudson, you're just here. The people are already waiting for you. Oh, thank you Denver. I'm so happy for what God is doing in the lives of the tribal. They are so hungry to know more about Jesus. Exactly. More and more people are showing up for our crusade every night. I know that the Lord has a plan for these people. I agree. Let's pray and ask the Holy Spirit for his visitation tonight. Father God. We cannot do anything without you. We just ask for your Holy Spirit to show up tonight to touch. And to minister to every broken heart tonight. Amen. Amen. Romans 10 verses 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. No matter how many sins you've committed in your life, Jesus Christ can forgive you and cleanse you if you give your heart to Him. I want to give my heart to Jesus. Can you pray for me, please? Of course, I can do that. Who else would like to receive Jesus as your Savior? Just come to the altar and I will lead you in prayer. Please, pray for me and my family, preacher. I will. Let us bow our heads and pray. Brother Dakota, thank you for coming to our meeting tonight. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Thank you, Brother Denver. I will invite some of my clan tomorrow. Shaman, you need to do something about those strangers. They are preaching an unknown God to our people. Are you just going to sit around doing nothing? I know what I'm doing, Java. I will set a trap for those people and I will destroy them. That foolish Dakota and his wife, Aita prayed the prayer of acceptance. They accepted that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. I have a perfect plan for them. I will gather all the tribal leaders tonight to discuss our evil schemes to those intruders. Go now. Java, gather the men of each tribe and meet me in an hour. Ada, please, take me to the preacher. My wife is very sick and I don't want to lose her. Takoda, don't worry. Preacher Hudson will pray to his God Jesus. He is a powerful healing God. Please, hurry. All right, let's go. Oh, how may I help you? Is Preacher Hudson here? Takoda's wife is very ill and she needs help. Please, I don't want my wife to die. Help me. I am his daughter, Danielle. My dad is not here. He's with Denver and they visited someone in the village a while ago. But if you want to, I can go with you to pray for your wife. Please, Danielle, let's hurry. Okay, let's go. God bless you. 
Thanks for coming to our crusade. See you again tomorrow. Good evening, Preacher Hudson. I am Java, one of the tribal leaders in my clan. And this is Ahanu, the shaman's son. Oh, good evening, Java. Good evening, Ahanu. How may I help you today? Our shaman is hosting a feast tomorrow. He wants to invite you and your team to the feasting, as his special guests. He heard all the good things you've been doing for our people. As a token of appreciation, he wants you and your team to be there as our guests of honor. Thank you for your invitation, Java. We will be there tomorrow. See you tomorrow, preacher. All right, successful. Oh, welcome, Preacher Hudson. I've heard a lot of good things about you. Good evening, Shaman. This is my daughter Danielle and brother Denver. How do you do? Come and join me. Nova, give our guests something to eat. Hurry, please. Enjoy the food. If you need anything, just call my servants. Please, excuse me. Thank you. Shaman. Well, let's pray for our food before we eat. Shall we? Sure, Dad. Let us pray. Oh, Abba Father, Creator of the universe, the one true God, we bless you and we acknowledge your presence today. Bless the food that we're about to eat. We pray Exodus 23 verse 25, Worship the Lord and He will bless your bread and water, and will remove sickness in your midst. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All right. Dig in. Are you sure that you put the strongest poison in their food, Java? Yes, Shaman. I mixed it with the poisonous snake venom. They will be dead in three minutes. Just wait and see. What's going on here, Java? I've been watching them for 15 minutes and nothing happens. I really don't know, Shaman. They should be dead by now. I want them dead. Maybe, maybe their god is more powerful than our god. And he's protecting them. Shut up. The Great Spirit is the only true god. Get out of my sight. I'm sorry. All of you, listen up. Bring torches with you and burn the preacher's house. Around midnight we will go there. Get ready, be prepared, and let's kick them out of our village. Is that clear? Yes. I understand. We need to get them out of here. Yes. They don't belong here. Alright, go back to your clan and prepare your men. Abba Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. You are the only one true God. And you deserved all the honor. Tonight as we go to sleep, cover us with the blood of Jesus. Put your warring angels all around us. Lord God, put your hedge of protection all around us. Blind the enemy and put us underneath your wings of protection. We cancel all the evil plans and schemes of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Give us a peaceful sleep tonight. Also, please take care of my mom and my baby brother while we're away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Good night, guys. It's time. Let's go. You, take your men. Go to the backside. I'll take care of that preacher. I don't understand. We've been here before. What's going on? We're just running around in circles. 
We can't find the preacher's house. It's impossible. What's your problem? Didn't I told you to go to the preacher's house and burn it? What are you still doing here? That's the problem, Java. We can't find the preacher's house. And we're running around in circles where we started. Do you think their god is blinding our eyes so we can't find them? It means we are fighting against the one true god like what the preacher said. We cannot fight him. Shut up, you fools. Do you want the shaman to hear you talk like that? Go back and comb the area thoroughly. Did you hear me? But Java, we have been searching for his house for an hour. And still we couldn't find it. Yes, I'm beginning to believe Dakota when he told me about how powerful and mighty Jesus Christ is. Quiet, why, what did I do wrong? I'm surrounded by fools. Leave me alone, and do what I say. What do you mean you can't find the preacher's house? Do I look like a fool to you, Java? I'm not making it up, Shaman. I was there with them. We've combed the area for three hours, and for apparent reason we ended up in the same spot where we started. That's not acceptable. Do you think I will buy your lame excuse, Java? If I have to, I will go with you. But, I'm not lying, Shaman. As if there's an invisible force around them, that was protecting them from us. <laughs> Are you starting to believe those ignorant people, that the God is the one true God? Kinda. Get out of my sight. I don't want to see your ugly face again. Get lost. Ugh, ignoramus. Sweetie, are you okay? Dad, I had a strange dream last night. And it seems real. And my dream. I saw a lot of men with torches. They wanted to burn our house. Suddenly. Out of nowhere. An angel of the Lord appeared and covered our house. So the men gave up and left. That's strange. I had the same dream. Does it mean, it's true, Dad? Yes. Isaiah 59, 19, says, When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. He will also protect us from any harm like what it says in Psalm 91 verse 4, He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Wow, I feel better now, Dad. Knowing that the Lord's protection is around us. That's right. Well, we better get going. Denver is waiting for us in our house church. Tonight is the night of a new beginning. We will get rid of the intruders once and for all. I am going to restore the faith of our people to our God, the Great Spirit. How are you going to do it, Shaman? Yeah, we tried and we failed. We, not just me. We will wait on the preacher and we will ambush him. Are you with me? What would that look? Don't tell me that you are siding with those intruders. We need to restore order and peace in our land. Okay. We will go with you, Shaman. Okay. Count me in. So tonight at 9, Preacher Hudson will be done with his crusade or whatever it is. I want you to position yourself and get ready to ambush him. Is that clear? Alright, go now and brief your men concerning our plan. Denver, go ahead and take Danielle with you. I need to talk to Dakota and his wife first. It will take a while. Okay, Preacher Hudson. Be safe. You, too, brother. Oh, it's already past nine. I wasn't paying attention to the time. I better go home now. Lord, please. Walk with me. Send your guardian angel to protect me. Amen.
He's coming. Get ready for my signal. He's getting closer. Now, attack. What? What is that thing? It's glowing. What is that? Or who is that? What are you doing? Ambush the preacher. Oh, no. Who is that being? Standing behind the preacher. Surely. His God. Jesus Christ is a true one God. I haven't seen this before in my entire life. What are you fools talking about? I didn't see anything. What light? What being? I'm so sorry, Sham Man. We don't want to be a part of it. Yes. This is bigger than I expected. Let's go. Now, we're leaving. Come back here, you. Pea-brained. You will pay for this, traitors. I will pray to the Great Spirit to struck you with his curses. What is that thing? Don't leave me here. Wait for me. Java, wait. I'm coming. Hello, Java. How may I help you today? Preacher Hudson, I came here to ask for your forgiveness. I don't understand. Forgiveness for what? Last night, the shaman and some of the men planned to ambush you. We waited for you in the forest, but something happened. When we're about to attack you, a glowing being stood there behind you. He was holding a sword. We all left in fear. Could you please explain to me what just happened last night? And what or who is the glowing being that was standing behind you? It seems to me that you've seen God's angel, Jeva. Angel? I haven't heard about God's angel before. The word of God refers to the angels as ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. Hebrews 1 verse 14 Also, according to the book of Psalms 91 verse 11, God sent his angels to guard his people. Preacher Hudson, could you please come to my house? I want you to share to my clan about Jesus Christ and his angels. Sure. No problem, Jeva. I will come and visit your family tomorrow. Denver. Where is Danielle? I haven't seen her today. What? I thought she's with you. What do you mean? Earlier, one of the women came here. She said that you asked her to pick up Danielle and bring her to you. What? Where is my daughter? And who is that woman? Preacher Hudson, let's ask Dakota and the congregation to help us look for Danielle. Let's go. Sean Man, we came here to command you to release Danielle. Let her go. What did you do to my daughter, Shaman? I'm not releasing your daughter, unless you heal my son. You kept telling my people that your God is a mighty God. Now, prove it to me. Heal my son. First of all, I can't heal your son. I am just a human being like you but the God that I serve is big. He's the great healer. And he is the only one true God. Prove it to me then. Give us time to pray. And to call on our God. You have one hour to call on your God. Help me. I don't feel well. Oh honey, the Lord Jesus can heal you. If you allow me to pray for you, I will lay my hands on you and pray. No. I don't need your Jesus. The Great Spirit is our God. He can heal me. Fine. If you want to, you can pray to your God. And I will pray to my Lord and Savior. But if my Lord Jesus answer fast, then you have to admit that he is the true one God. Deal? Alright, deal. Oh, Great Spirit, come and heal me. Prove to Danielle that you are real, that you have the power to heal. Great Spirit, please, answer me. Please, touch me. Heal me. <coughs> 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 
Lord Jesus. Come, let your Holy Spirit move in our midst. Please, open the eyes of Ahanu and his father. Show them who you are. Please, oh, please, Great Spirit. Don't let me down. We are your servants. We've been serving you all our lives. Father God, we come to your presence. We know who you are. We invite you Holy Spirit to move. We pray 1 Kings 8 verse 60, that all the people of the earth may know that the Lord is God, and that there is none else. Yes, Lord. Psalm 86 verse 10 says, For thou art great, and doest wondrous things, thou art God alone. Show the people especially the Shah man that you are the one true God. Yes, have your way, Lord. Touch the lives of these people. And heal the shaman's son. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's time. Let's go. Ahanu, son. Father, help me. Pray to the Great Spirit to heal me. Help. Great Spirit, come and heal my son. Great Spirit, oh. Come, touch my son. I feel like my head is going to explode. Help me. My God, Great Spirit, save my son. Let me pray for your son. Father God, thank you for this opportunity to show the shaman and his son that you alone are the great one true God. I glorify your name Jesus. You are the great healer. The great I am. You are the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. 1 Peter 2.24 says, That you become a curse for us. You were hung on the cross for us. And by your stripes we are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you sickness to leave this body. You have no power and authority in this body. Oh, thank you, Jesus for your healing power that flows in Ahanu's body. Now, Ahanu. Declare and receive your healing. Repeat after me, I am healed in Jesus' name. 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 I am healed. Jesus healed me. I am healed, Father. I feel better now. My son, Ahanu, you are healed. Are you sure? Yes. Father, watch this. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the one true God. Thank you. Preacher Hudson. Thank you, Denver and Danielle for introducing us to Jesus. You are welcome, Shaman. Well, let's celebrate. I will share to my people the good news. Sure. Let's go. Today is the mark of the new beginning for your tribe. As you can see, I am thankful that you have opened your heart to the Lord Jesus the one true God. Right now, I want all of you to make it official by praying the prayer of acceptance. Use on the rock. Jesus is the rock. For young people and old alike, Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.